Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebraic problem and we have x minus y equals to 2 and x y equals to 2. So here we solve these two simultaneous equations and we get the values of x and y. So now first we call this as equation number 1 and we call this as equation number 2. So uh, first we focus on equation number 1 and we first get the value of x from equation number 1 and we substitute this value of x in equation number 2. So now we write it here from equation number 1. So from this equation we move this minus y to the right hand side and we get x equals to 2 plus y. So we call this as equation number 3 and we put the value of this x in equation number 2. So our equation number 2 implies that uh, we substitute uh, this x by 2 plus y and it will be written as 2 plus y times of y equals to 2 and now we multiply this y on both of these terms and we get 2y plus y square and this is whole equals to 2 and now in the next step we rearrange the terms and we write it as y square plus 2y and we move this plus 2 in the left hand side and it will becomes minus 2 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now this equation will becomes in quadratic form and we can easily use the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation. So here first we write uh, the coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 2 and c equals to minus 2 and our quadratic formula will be uh, written as uh, y equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So here we substitute the value of a, b and c in this quadratic formula. And it will be written as uh, y equals to minus b and b is 2 so it will become minus 2 plus minus uh, square root of b square so b is uh, 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 2 and this whole divided by 2 times of a. So here we need to simplify. Uh, this equation and we have minus 2 plus minus uh, square root of 2 square is 4 and this minus times of minus becomes 4 and 4 times of 2 is 8 and this whole divided by 2. So now we uh, again need some simplification here and we get to minus 2 plus minus uh, square root of 4 plus 8 becomes 12 and this whole divided by 2. So in the next step we write this 12 as minus 2 plus minus square root of 4 times of 3. We know that this 12 equals to 4 times of 3 becomes 12 and this whole divided by 2. So here we separate the square root on both of these terms and we write it as minus 2 plus minus. Uh, so here we have the square root of 4 becomes 2 into square root of 3 divided by 2 and in the next step we just uh, take the common 2 from the numerator and we write it as y equals to 2 times of minus 1 plus minus square root of 3 divided by 2 so here you cancelled these 2 and 2 and we obtain the value of y equals to minus 1 plus minus square root of 3. So this is the values of y. So now uh, uh, corresponding to this value of y we can get the values of x so that we substitute the, uh, these two values of y in equation number 3 and we can easily get the values of x. So first we write these two values are y equals to minus 1 plus square root of 3 and the negative value are y equals to minus 1 minus square root of 3. So now here uh, we will just copy down equation number 3. So our equation number 3 will be written as x equals to uh, 2 plus y. So this is the equation number 3. 
and now we put the value of uh, these two values of y in this equation and we get the corresponding values of x so here we have x equals to 2 plus y and the value of y is minus 1 plus square root 3 and it will be written as minus 1 plus square root 3 similarly in this case we have x equals to 2 plus y and our y is minus 1 minus square root of 3 so now uh, here we need to simplify uh, these equations and we get the value of x equals to 2 so this plus minus minus 1 plus uh, square root of 3 and here we get 2 minus 1 becomes plus 1 plus uh, square root of 3 and similarly in this case we get x equals to 2 this plus minus 1 and minus square root of 3 and we get the value of x equals to 2 minus 1 is 1 and minus square root of 3. So these are the two values of x. So uh, now we uh, get the solution set. So our solution set x, y equals to. So first we uh, compare these two values of x and y. So here in this case we get the value of x is 1 plus square root of 3. And in this case we get value of y is minus 1 plus square root of 3 so this is the our first solution and the second solution is here so the value of x is 1 minus square root of 3 and corresponding to this value of x we get the value of y is minus 1 minus square root of 3 so this is the second value of y so this is the uh, solution set so in which we get two solutions of this problem and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos